all right cultural expressions bridging the gap of cultural diversity through dance afro-caribbean dance class for adults <laughs> Today you're going to see an excerpt or a class pertaining to the African tradition as it transformed in the New World um, due to the African slave trade. <laughs> Work is, and body language is very intricate because it shows subtlety, strength. The students or participants will um, learn how to express the male and as well as the female entity of themselves. The rhythms and the drumming is very important because the, the rhythms and songs signify what type of dance of the deities or orishas that being performed. <laughs> tradition that was fostered in Cuba in the area called the Cabildos during the slave trade. The slave trade was very prominent there because Cuba was the place for sugar and sugar was very heavy trade and therefore many Africans came were taken from Africa to Cuba particularly the Yoruba and Bantu speaking people. During that time the movements had variations of descriptions and expressions because there were many people from different parts of Africa. Once they, the Africans were placed in the cabildos, they restructured and retransformed their way of tradition prior to coming to the New World. This way of tradition is called uh, Santeria, or Way of the Saints. Santeria um, is a religious tradition that masked behind Catholicism. During this time, the slaves, during their free time, where they were together, they came up with, and recreated and restructured their way of worship in Africa. Um, dance was very, very much celebrated because it told about all aspects of life and nature. Um, 
So again, anywhere you walk, you're always paying your respects to the earth, you're paying your respects to those who came before you. Uh, when we dance for the divinities, uh, whether it be Ogun, whether it's Shongo, Kawakabisi, whether it's for Oshon, uh, for Arara, for Ebioso, it's all in praise and also in giving thanks. Um, and while you're dancing, you're also cleansing uh, of anything that may be stressing you, anything that may be troubling you, worrying you. And when the divinities come, you know, they come and they bless you, you feel that energy in your body. It's also a healing for you as well. <laughs> to religion per se, you have your secular dance, which is more of a social content of movement. And what we get ready to do is called Kampasa, and that's like carnival. So it's like a big procession of people coming down the street celebrating. There's no particular movement per se. Um, if you know what carnival is, no matter where you are in the Caribbean or here in New Orleans, it's a procession of people coming down the street like a party. So you'll do different, you know, fancy movements, hip shaking stuff. Thank you.